Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed. So on screen. Yes, captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge. We're always on the lookout for like-minded captains. We're going to share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, that said, here we go. Captains, we have a couple things to go over, and one of them is the new ship that they showed off in today's 10 Forward Stream. But what we'll do is go over the blogs, and then, of course, as we do so, we're going to drop our two ECs, and then at the end, give our conclusions. Now, captains, we attempted to go over this yesterday. This link now is this link here. So we'll read this. So this week on Xbox and PlayStation, save on keys, items in the low buy store, and everything you need to start your adventure. So here we go. We are familiar with this sale already, but if you're not, here we go. We'll quickly go over this key and low buy store and start your adventure sale. This week, captains on Xbox and PlayStation can save on keys, items in the low buy store, and everything they need to start their adventure. So rule of acquisition 74, knowledge equals profit. Any wise captains knows that when a sale this good comes your way, it's best to take advantage of it. We're pleased to announce that the Ferengi merchants are putting a 15% sale on keys. That's pretty low. In my opinion, I would rather go 30, 35. That's just my personal opinion. But if you have the resources, you can go get it. So this starts from August 1st. So that is as of this video it started yesterday, but it goes until August the 7th. Now is the best time for captains to load up on your keys and grab those ships that you've been eyeing. Now, again, if you're new here, captains, our recommendations on these keys is a couple of things. One, if you're going to buy them, buy them on sale but also don't use them to open boxes. It is straight up gambling. I've seen people open up 250 plus boxes and get nothing. So the sure way, the sure way to get a ship that you're gunning for is to sell them on the exchange, but only after the sale ends, okay? So buy the keys when they're on sale, such as this. I would actually recommend waiting for a, 20, a 30, 35% sale. And then once the sale is over, keep an eye on the exchange for the price of the keys for EC and then try to get your maximum EC back as best as possible. Now, if you are going to open lock boxes, do it for the low buy because low buy, that's the only way you can get low buy other than of course now the event campaign. But we're talking about the lock box keys. They're the only way you can get low buy as well. So I have opened boxes over the years, but what I do is I have set a limit and I've stayed within it. For example, 20 keys, 40 keys, or 60 keys or boxes, I should say. And then have I won ships? Yes, a very, like a handful of times out of however many boxes, but I've always stayed within my limit. So again, just thought I'd throw that down there for our newer captains. Now, remember, Captain's Rule of Acquisition 22, a wise man can hear profit in the wind. Now is the time to act. For a limited time only starting today, players will be able to purchase the Key Ring Bundle. This special pack includes 20 master keys used to open any lockbox for the price of 2,250 zen. As an additional special promotional offer, when purchasing this bundle, every pack also includes a single Ultimate Tech Upgrade. Applying this item to any upgradable piece of equipment will instantly set both its mark and quality to maximum, so which is now mark 15 epic gold with zero to lithium cost. The promotional bundle will be available in the Zen store from August 1st to the 7th as well. Further, the Low Buy Crystal Consortium is pleased to announce their latest featured sale from August 1st again to the 7th. Shrewd captains will be able to choose from the wide selection of wares just by visiting the in-game low buy store. All items in the low buy store will be 20% off for this entire sale. Now is the best time to take command of the Kelvin Timeline Intel Dreadnought Cruiser or get your hands on the Boolean Heavy Assault Cannon or fly the stars in the Vaudoir Astiga Heavy Battle Cruiser. Enjoy, Captains. Finally, Captains, it's a great time to start a new career in the Final Frontier. That's because the start of your adventure sale is now live. 
again, from August 1st to the 7th, you can get a brand new character of your 32nd level 65 knitted out the way you like by saving 25% on everything listed below in the Zen store, which includes services, uniforms, personnel, starter packs. Don't wait. It's a perfect time to get everything you need. So again, captains, as of this video dropping it is already August 2nd. So this sale started yesterday, but it goes until the 7th. So there is that. Next up, we of course had our, the 10 forward stream happen today and they revealed the new ship. And of course, it's there in the thumbnail. Captains, you saw it. So here we go. I'm just going to put this on screen. This was taken from the Twitch stream. And there it is. This is apparently the friendship class. Now, initial thoughts. Now, I actually have a different set of slide show picture. So we're going to put that up first. So what do I think of this? It's not a ship I'll be getting. I'm not interested in it. Never was. There's a picture of a bunch of 32nd century ships. And this is just not appealing to me. It's the cells is floating behind the saucer beside each other. So it looks like a couple things. One, the melee weapon that actually Kale had and showed off in the stream from another game called Halo, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, Caps. Secondly, it reminds me of a keyhole in space. But I mean, par for the course, because we have a bottle opener as well, which is the Voyager J. So again, if this is a ship that you are actually wanting in game cap, captains, it's there. It's going to be in the lock box, unfortunately. But for me personally, no. So we're going to just quickly go over this because the blog is going to drop. And of course, when the blog drops, that's when we'll give, of course, our ECs and of course go into the details more into it. So the next slide shot I took here was just more shots of the ship there. Here's another shot of it. It's underneath there. Again, it just does it just seems so plain to me and it does not appeal to me whatsoever. But that's okay. Caps, if this is something you like, then it is there for you. There's another shot of it there. Now we're gonna quickly go to its layout here, and this is kind of surprising because it actually is a carrier. So it's a support ship. So the whole concept of this kind of, from what I'm getting is a kind of a support carrier. So it's a 4-4 weapon layout with two hangar bays. That's very interesting with two hangar bays there. So this ship actually is a, what the name is it? A Friendship Command Flight Deck Carrier is the name of this ship. So again, you can see it there. It's 4-4 layout and they showed off of course the console and trace so quickly the console here and I'm sure it's kind of fuzzy pictures I just took it straight off from their stream but it's called the power transfer emitters so I think it gives 2.6 percent increased critical chance 22 starship hull restoration 10 percent increased hangar pet critical chance which is pretty cool especially if you have a pet build I would love to have this I'm not really a carry captain, but with the release of the monitor earlier this year, it was, I love that ship. That is a great ship. And I want to go back to that just because, so you can see there, again, we'll go over that console that's there. We'll just go more in detail when the blog comes out, but that's the console that it comes with. Next up here, you have, I believe they went over the trait. So the trait is the cooperation is the dominant strategy. So again, they're trying to, Jonathan is trying to take inspiration from sort of cooperating the name of the ship, friendship. So that's where this goes. So using powers, the ally provides additional bonuses. So nothing that benefits you, but benefits your teammate. Now I can see this in support runs being something that could be used. I don't know the numbers, but regardless, this is the ship that we're not going to get. But again, something that's pretty interesting. Now the layout there is actually interesting too. When you look at that layout, it's quite almost inviting of the new ISO mags there. Cause look at that. There's a five engineering slots there, three Psi and three TAC. So as our good friend Spencer says, the, in, the ISO mags actually outdo and outperform the TAC when there's 
and it lets you do so when you when you slot more. So that is a possibility there. Again, interesting concept of having a 4-4 hanger. I don't know why they don't do that for the Psy ships, but this is again in the future, so the advanced technology there, I get it. So there is that. And then we go over the Both layout here. So you can see there it has, it is an, a, a command, it has a command engineering and an Intel Lieutenant Commander. And with the Lieutenant, I believe Lieutenant Universal, Lieutenant Ensign, and then a Lieutenant Commander Psy. So again, it feels like a cruiser. Seems like it could work if we were able to have this ship. Looks like we can do some sort of shenanigans on there. But regardless, again, we'll go over that more in detail when that blog releases. At the end here of the day, it's it's a ship that, again, this doesn't appeal to me. And I know, though, a lot of other captains that love the Discovery kind of aesthetics. And yeah, I see some of them being flown around still. You know, and for us, we do have, of course, the Crossfield Refit which I actually do love that design of that it makes more sense in the future than it did in the past. We also do have the NOG, which was the event to enter prize event from two years ago, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. That was an awesome just gimme to us here, especially remembering our captain NOG here, Aaron Eisenberg. So that's probably the only ships now in terms of any other ships incoming from the 32nd century. The only one that kind of perked my interest was the Vulcan ship, but it just looked like an advanced Vulcan ship with more Tron-like colors. But whether they put that in here, that's gonna be up to them. When I look at the ship lineup, there there's not, I, I can't help myself, but kind of almost compare them to items. Like I said, this reminds me of that Halo sort of melee weapon and or a key lock, which again, par for the course, because we have a bottle opener. So captains, I thought we would just go over that quickly and drop the ECs there. So do us a huge favor, hit that like button, comment below, let us know what you think of this ship and if this is the ship that you will be getting. And if so, what you're gonna be, what your plans are in your build for that. With that said, captains, we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.